This is Trevor from Telecom Training and in this video we're going to be talking about the relationship between frequency, bandwidth and speed within a transmission line. Now here we have our internet data being fed into a DSLAM bay. Now DSLAM stands for Digital Subscriber Line Access Multiplexer. Now within a DSLAM bay, we have DSLAM cards and each DSLAM card is connected to a line which is connected to an individual customer's modem. Now I have three different types of lines here. We have an ADSL1 type line, we have a VDSL1 and we have a VDSL2. Each one of these lines have different frequencies. ADSL1 have frequencies between 25 kilohertz and 1 megahertz and it has a top speed of 12 megabits per second. Now, now VDSL1 goes from 25 kilohertz right up to 12 megahertz and it has a top speed of 52 megabits per second. VDSL2 goes from 25 kilohertz to 30 megahertz and it has a top speed of 100 megabits per second. Now, I'm gonna start with the ADSL1 type line just to explain to you, first of all, how the relationship between frequency, bandwidth, and speed. On an ADSL1 type line, we have frequencies going from 25 kilohertz to one megahertz. And these frequencies are sent out onto the line to the customer. And if all of these frequencies get through, you'll have a speed here of 12 megabits per second. Where bandwidth comes into play is on the line. We need bandwidth in order to send our data from the DSLAM card to the modem. I'm gonna explain how this all works on the line so you'll get an understanding of how frequency bandwidth and speed all works together on the line in order to get your data to the modem okay now our data is sent from the internet into the DSLAM card and in order to get our data to the customer this is what happens we have our frequency between 25 kilohertz and 1 megahertz we divide this frequency band on the line into four kilohertz bins, okay? So each one of these bins here is four kilohertz. So let's say we, so we're starting at 25 kilohertz. So this very first bin would go from 25 kilohertz to 28 kilohertz, that's a four kilohertz slot. The second one would go from, from 29 kilohertz to 32 kilohertz. So, and it would keep on going like that right up until we get to one megahertz. Now, now I only got like six, six bins here, but of course it will be a lot of bins all taking up a four kilohertz frequency slot. Now within each one of these bins, we place 56 kilobits of data. So 56 kilobits of data is placed into each one of these bins. And once 56 kilobits of data is placed into all the bins right up to one megahertz, you'll get 12 megabits of data being sent to this modem. Because 12 megabits of data is what we get at one megahertz, right? This is what one megahertz would actually generate. So how, how we get that, how we get that is because if you add up all the 56 kilobits of data within all of these bins right up to one megahertz, you'll get 12 megabits per second. As you can see here, as the frequencies get higher, we're taking up more bandwidth. So as the frequency get higher, the speed is also getting higher because we've got 56 kilobits of data into each one of these bins. So the more bins that we can add, the more data that we can send to the customer and all, but we also taking up more bandwidth because it's getting higher and higher. There's no such thing as unlimited bandwidth on a copper line. There's a limit to bandwidth. The higher the frequency you get, you can have more speed, but there's a limit where you're going to run into the bandwidth eventually. This is a correlation between 
frequency bandwidth and speed on the ADSL one line. Now a VDSL one line, if you'll see here, we go from 25 kilohertz right up to 12 megahertz. Here we only went up to one megahertz, so it's a much higher frequency here. So we have many more four kilohertz bins here, and each one of these bins is filled with 56 kilobits of data just like on the ADSL1 type line but we have more bins so we can have more data being sent from the DSLAM right through to the modem so on a VDSL1 type line we have a maximum speed of 52 megabits per second because we have many more bins here in order to get that 52 megabits per second now another issue that we will have that I'm going to point out to you with VDSL2. Now VDSL2 goes from 25 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. It's a much higher frequency than VDSL1 going from 12 megahertz all the way to 30 megahertz. So, so this means that we can have many more 4 kilohertz bins with 56 kilobits of data in each one of these bins. So as you can see here, as frequency increase, we are running out of bandwidth. And it isn't long before we run out of bandwidth for VDSL2 type line. We, we generally do not get much more than 75 megabits per second on that line, if that high. The line got to be really good in order to get 75 megabits per second. Generally, it may be close to uh, 60 megabits per second, but the customer is asking for 100 megabits per second. So it's very difficult to get 100 megabits per second on this line because of the bandwidth limitations on a twisted pair line. In order to get this, we use VDSL vectoring or port bonding. I have links to those videos in the description below that would explain to you what is done in order to get 100 megabits per second over twisted pair. What I want you to take away from this video is a relationship between frequency, bandwidth, and speed. As you can see, the frequency dictates the speed. The higher the frequency, the more data you can be sending. However, as frequency gets higher, you use up more bandwidth until eventually you run out of bandwidth and you can't send any more data on that particular line. I hope this video has been very helpful to you and I was able to explain to you the relationship between frequency, bandwidth and speed. Now if I have been able to explain that to you, please by all means drop me a comment and let me know. If there's something else that you would like me to talk about, please drop me a, a comment as well and let me know. Um, if you would like to see more videos like this one and you haven't subscribed as yet, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button below. And also remember to click on notification so that you'll be notified as soon as our new videos are released. My name is Trevor from Telecom Training. Thank you for watching.